so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be testing out a brand new foundation that I'm sure you guys have seen going around all over TikTok. You know I had to hop on the bandwagon and get it because I love testing out new foundations. Complexion is my favorite. Also, side note, I don't have an actual TikTok where I post, I just have a personal one where I basically just have it for my own entertainment purposes and also to try my best to keep up with new beauty trends because honestly, sometimes with all these new features and new apps, I feel like a grandmother. Like I'm like, okay, how do I keep up? But anyways, I saw this new foundation, the KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm, and it looks amazing. It's supposed to be really long wearing, really pretty on the skin, and super full coverage, so you know I had to hop on that. Originally, I actually ordered this foundation online, directly on their website, because I couldn't find it anywhere when I saw this like two days ago, and then this morning I was like, you know what, let me go to Ulta and see if I can find it. I thought it was gonna be a long shot, and I got so lucky, you guys. This was the last shade that I actually ordered online originally for me that I thought would match. I got medium 033, so we're gonna test it out today, and we're gonna see what all the hype is about. Of course, I'm gonna do a wear test. And if you guys are new, I do have normal to, I would say like dry-ish skin. But honestly, at the same time, sometimes my skin is combo. It just really depends on the weather and how I prep my skin. I also will leave some other foundation shades that I'm in down below in the description box. And I will be doing half of my face with a sponge and then the other half with a brush so we can see how it looks on the skin. Yeah, we're just gonna get into it. So grab a snack and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So I hope you stick around and subscribe. And let's get into this first impression review and wear test. So of course we are up close and personal. I did also prep my skin. So I always usually go in with a primer water first. This is one of my current favorites. It's the Milani Supercharged Revitalizing Facial Mist. It's just super refreshing. And then for an actual primer, I've been loving the Milani Supercharged Dewy Primer. This is super hydrating and glowy, but it's not glittery. It's just, it's really nice on the skin. It's like, it feels like a moisturizer, but it actually makes your makeup last all day. So I've been loving this. So this is what the foundation looks like. I really like the packaging. It's sleek and I like how it's see-through. So this retails for $38. It comes in 40 different shades. It's supposed to be a full coverage hydrating foundation balm with a lightweight long wear formula and a fresh matte finish. It has apple extract in it to help nourish the skin. It minimizes the appearance of pores and gives the skin a smooth, healthy look. And it's supposed to be non-cakey, flashback free, and it's supposed to cover blemishes, discoloration, and in fully recyclable packaging. Really nice. I like that. And then as far as how to use it, it says you can blend and build to your desired coverage using a beauty sponge or a dense foundation brush. So I am going to just start with a sponge on this side. I'm going to use my e.l.f. little avocado sponge. I guess I'll swipe and then I'll dab. Oh wow. Boy, I think this is going to be my color. Oh my gosh, I think we have like a perfect color match, you guys. So I did one swipe. I tried not to be like super aggressive because you guys know I'm really heavy handed and I feel like less is more based on what I've seen. Oh my God, this looks so good. And like the shade match is like perfection. And it actually looks like my skin, but like definitely full coverage. So let's do the forehead. Do you see? Wow. Curious to see how it's gonna look with a brush because this is looking really, really nice. So clearly foundation side. Not foundation side. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some under my eyes to see how it's gonna look, and I'm just gonna use the other side of the sponge. Wow. That was really creamy too. Like the formula, even though it's a bomb, it's really melting into the skin and it's very easy to blend and to work with. And for the other side, I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush. Okay, um, hello coverage. So I'm gonna like really pat it in versus swiping. And you can see that completely covered up that scar. I'm gonna do under my eyes. Definitely less is more. You don't need a lot of product to get that full coverage. So I agree so far with the claim, like definitely full coverage. I feel like it would be great for spot concealing or like little small areas on your face. I feel like it looks more full coverage with a brush. Definitely looks a little bit more kind of natural-ish with a sponge. This is probably the most full coverage foundation that I've like ever tried that actually feels this good on the skin. I have to say, looking at it, it definitely looks a little bit heavier on the brush side versus with the sponge, but both sides look 
look completely smooth and porcelain. I feel like with this, you don't even need a pore filling primer. So I'm shocked. I'm dying to finish the rest of my makeup though, because this looks intense. So I'm curious to see how it's going to look. This foundation did not come to play. So I'll be right back and I'll check back in with you guys in about 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm back. This is what everything looks like. And I have to say, I'm very impressed. It looks so good. It feels really lightweight, but the coverage is still so on point. It's very smooth, very porcelain. And I feel like now that I have set everything and used setting spray and everything, both sides feel very symmetrical. Earlier, I felt like the foundation side looked a little bit more heavy and a little bit more kind of intense, whereas the sponge side looked more lightweight. But now after everything has settled and set into the skin, I think both sides look really great. And I really don't see a huge difference between both sides, but wow, it looks so good. It's very smooth. I don't notice anything like crazy, like drastic, really concerning on the face. Around the corners of my mouth, it's a little bit dry. I feel like that tends to happen with like all of my products, to be honest. It does look a little bit cakey around my nose. Nothing crazy, but obviously I did use a lot of products on my face, but like, again, it doesn't feel uncomfortable or heavy. I think just like looking really up close and personal, you can kind of see it does look a little cake. I'm more worried to see how this is gonna wear around my mouth and around my nose, because those areas for me tend to fade pretty easily throughout the day, usually even without a mask. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna look. I still think besides that, everything looks really good. For the amount of product that I used, I think this feels amazing. Also, just wanted to mention quickly because I did notice, although I do love the foundation and it looks beautiful, I did make a dent in the product already. And honestly, there isn't a ton of product in here. There's only 0.35 ounces, but it's a lot easier to do this with a brush versus with the sponge. Just kind of like my first impressions for today, but you don't need to use a lot of product with this foundation because it's very full coverage. Obviously, that's my bad. I'm not blaming the foundation, but I'm just letting you guys know that I feel like it is really easy to go through this product very quickly and it's expensive. So I feel like since this foundation is so full coverage, you need to use less than you would like a normal liquid foundation. So maybe even just use your finger and dab it wherever you need to, to avoid using an excess amount of product and going through it very quickly and making a dent like I did. But this looks amazing. So yeah, I am gonna come back in a few hours. Right now it is 2.06, so I got a little bit of a later start to my day, but that's okay, because I'm still gonna wear this throughout the rest of the day, and I'll keep you guys updated on how it looks in a few hours, but I'm excited because I think it looks really good so far. So I'll keep you guys updated, and I'll see you very soon. Hey guys, I'm back. It is now about almost 9.30 p.m., and this is what everything looks like. I have not touched up, and let me just say that I was definitely more impressed earlier versus now. So so I'm honestly not super crazy about this foundation and the way that it looks. To be completely honest with you guys, I feel like this really looked the best the first maybe like one and a half to two hours of wearing it. And then after that, I feel like it kind of just went downhill from there. First of all, the foundation right now feels super heavy on the skin. And I felt like it felt really heavy on the skin about like three, four hours into wearing it. So I basically wear it for an entire day, which this is typically how long I normally do wear my makeup for, about like seven, eight, sometimes nine hours. Was wearing a mask earlier, but honestly for me, maybe only like 10, 15 minutes. I just ran to the grocery store really quick and got right out. So I wasn't wearing a mask for a super long time. When I did take off the mask, there wasn't a ton of makeup on it for that little bit of time that I did wear. I started noticing more of the separation and like it fading after that. Also, it is separating on my forehead. I tried to get like really up close and show you guys. So hopefully you can see what I'm talking about, but it is separating on the forehead. I do also have a little bit of shine peeking through on the forehead. It actually doesn't feel as greasy as maybe it might look, but it's just honestly, it just feels more like heavy on the face than anything. Also something else I wanted to mention, this is not flattering under the eyes at all. I definitely do not recommend applying this on your under eyes, especially if you have super bad fine lines like myself. I have so many favorite concealers and honestly all of them crease on me, but they don't look as bad as like this. Like, I mean, this is not a concealer, obviously it's a foundation, but I don't recommend applying it under there. I mean, although the coverage is really nice, I just feel like the formula is maybe a little bit too much for the under eye area, especially if you, again, suffer from really bad fine lines like myself. Also is fading around the nose area and a little bit around the chin. It's mostly around this part right here, like around the nose, my upper lip, it's just splotchy. The foundation has definitely separated and came off, especially right in between the brows. And it's definitely looking a little cakey around the nose. I don't know, you guys. Honestly, I loved it in the beginning. It looked so good, but I feel like for the price and for how it looked just like a couple hours into wearing it, I'm not super impressed with it right now. I'm gonna test it out though again with less product. 
correct because I feel like less is more. I did use a lot and I don't really like this foundation with a brush. I feel like it definitely will look better when I use maybe just my fingertips and blend it out with a sponge. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts. If you guys have tried this foundation, what do you think? If you have oily skin or dry skin, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully it was helpful and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.